Hi, this is Danny D, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today, we reflect on the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 20 to 23. And today's Gospel shares one verse with yesterday's Gospel. And it talks about turning sorrow to joy. Now, I speak to the many who may have gone through, or like me, are still going through this process of grieving. Yep, I accept and I acknowledge that I am grieving. Now grief is, grief or sorrow is defined as a deep sense of distress, sadness, or regret for the loss of someone or something so important or so loved. Now, when we go through this process, and as I said, some of us might be in the middle of this, we go through the different stages of grief. And, you know, we go from, no, this is not happening to me. This cannot happen to me. To, why me, Lord? Have I not done enough? Have I not prayed enough? Is this how you repay my goodness? We move from there to, Lord, please, Lord, I promise if you can take this pain away from me, I will do this or I will do that. Moving to just sinking into unconsolable, deep sadness and anguish. Now, while we're going through this, it is most painful. So painful that we wouldn't want to wish this on somebody else. Now, the, the psychologists and the religious agree on this point. That it is only with sadness, pain, and having our hearts and souls wounded that we experience the miracle of healing. Because we will surely heal. Like all wounds, all wounds heal. But the deeper the pain, the more magnificent the healing. And when we heal, we become stronger and wiser. We see purpose. We see the wise. We come out new. Now, I pray for all of us who's going through this, that the Lord walk with us. For all of us who may have lost something so important or so loved. It's okay to be sad for a while. But know that we did not lose. We will see. We will become better and happier. And our sorrow, the Lord said, will turn to joy. That's His promise. The Gospel says, after our anguish, we will see Jesus and our hearts will rejoice and no one can take away this joy from us. On that day, whatever we ask for in the Father's name, He will give us. So the Lord says, we will be fine. But until that day, we will be hopeful, holding on to that promise as we all pray for one another. Amen. Have a hopeful and God-filled weekend ahead of you.